Yo, Saga Manga are back again with another manga haul. Nothing too crazy, like not that many volumes this manga haul, but I did pick up, I guess you could say this is a grail of mine. Um, it is a series that is out of print, I believe. And let me grab it. The series in question is Kakaishi. I got volume 1 to 35, the complete set here. And this is a... Let me put it down. This is a manga from the early 2000s. First printing, 2005. So this came out in 2005. It ran for, I don't know how long, 35 volumes worth. But it was really just overshadowed by other things during that time, like Bleach Naruto, One Piece, the classic big shonens. But Kakaishi is a wonderful manga. You can read this all right now on the Viz or the Shonen Jump app. I'm not sure which one it's on, but you can read the whole series on there because to get your hands on a full set, you're going to pay like a decent amount of money. But this is a great, great manga. You follow Yoshimori Sumimura and his neighbor is the Yukimura family. And they have been feuding for years over who is the true practitioner of a Kakaishi. And a Kakaishi is someone that is like a demon hunter or a spirit demon hunter, or whatever. They go out every night and they exercise these demons. They specialize in catching them in a spiritual barrier and then executing them or banishing them. And Yoshimori is our main character. His neighbor is on the back here. It's Tokin Yukimura. Yoshimori is your classic shonen protagonist, like little brat. Similar to Naruto, how they don't really care about their responsibilities. He doesn't care about being a Kakaishi. He just does it because that's what his family has done. And he doesn't really smarten up until one night when he, instead of uh, capturing the demon and executing it right away, he's screwing around and it Tokin gets injured because of him. And that is when he starts to smarten up to take his Kakaishi business more seriously. And I highly recommend this. It's just a really, really good shonen. If you have the app, definitely read it on there. Or if you can find a set for a good price, I'd pick it up. And I'm really happy I got it because it's great. I've only read like, I've only read maybe four volumes digitally, but I just, I fell in love like instantly. So I'm very, very happy I have the full set. And my next pickup is D Gray Man. I had one to five, so I got six all the way through to 27, but volume. 11 and 25 are out of stock completely. So I have the full set except volume 11 and 27. But once I get to volume 11, I think I'm on volume 9 right now. So I don't see it coming back in stock before I get to volume 11. So I'll just read that volume digitally and then continue because D Grade Man. Honestly, I don't hear a lot of people talk about D. Grayman that much. It is one of the best selling manga. I think it has 24 million volumes sold. It's very, very good. It also is an exorcist style manga. But you follow Alan Walker, who's a boy, has this, his left arm, I believe, is a anti Akuma weapon and the akuma in this story are souls that are like corrupt by there's a guy called the millennium earl and he creates these akuma which are essentially demons that have like cannon guns on them i don't know how to explain it it's like very hard to explain but let me just kind of flip like the art in here is very very good it's just like a page spread um where was i just a very good manga that i don't actually hear too much about 
I do see it in like a decent amount of people's collections. So it does have, does get the love it deserves. I just kind of wanted to shine some light on the series. Hopefully, if you guys are interested, that is in print. It's actually just been reprinted. So you can pick it up. It's readily available. Probably at your Barnes & Noble or your Indigo. Actually, they don't sell them in Indigo. You can only buy these online. It's kind of unfortunate, but... And then we'll just talk about Kaiju number 8, Volume 8, real quick. I uh, read through this in like one sitting. Super cool. I'm really enjoying the, the Kaiju weapons. Like each numbered Kaiju... That, 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 that. <laughs> each numbered Kaiju that they've captured, they turn it into a weapon. And then one character gets a weapon in this. Well, it's really a suit. Actually, let me do a quick spo quick spoiler for volume 8 of Kaiju number 8. That is the new weapon. And I really, I'm enjoying that aspect of it. It's just a fun series. I'm excited to see where it goes. And then I picked up this series I saw when I was shopping, but I just never picked it up. I saw the price tag and I was thinking it's a little bit high, but now that Viz is increasing their price, this is the same price as Viz signatures now, same size, but this comes with like the French flaps and you got your color pages in the front. And this is The Valiant Must Fall by the author that did uh, Guns Gunsmith Girl, I think it's called. This is about this girl is a, I think it's called an Ashino. So she is an, an undying human, like a, basically an immortal human that is searching for a special sword that can kill her mother to put her mother out of misery because her mother is one of the special beings that is undying and she's forced to just reproduce to keep creating these half breeds and she's on her search for the sword that can put her mother out of her suffering she runs into a swordsman that becomes her companion on this adventure and so far i'm really liking it it's seven c's so it's got nice white paper and it's just a really nice release overall i think there's only four volumes of this so i'm probably going to continue picking up these again that is um the valiant must fall so i don't know if you guys saw like this is probably a month and a half or two months ago some guy in the community he took his death note black editions and rebinded them into hardcovers and they were going around on the manga swap or manga collector reddit and instagram i think his instagram is oshudo manga but his youtube channel is literally called the manga rebinder and it got me thinking like i want to try rebinding a bunch of manga into hardcover it just seems like a really cool like project to get into so i picked up these they were five books each this is dimension w this is one of my favorite series i read all year like probably the favorite series that i've started and finished this year in 2023 this is the first nine volumes i got them for five bucks a piece so i'm very excited to eventually i don't know how long it's going to take me to get into this and then rebind these into hardcover this is the only the first nine of 16 but i have the full set right here so these will just be a project i'm actually probably going to take some random novels that i have first and attempt to hardcover those before i <laughs> jump into these because volume three and four are definitely harder to find of dimension w but i just love this series so much that i'm definitely interested in custom hardcover binding these these aren't manga but i wanted to kind of get into comics so this is um marjorie lou and sana takeda 
my brother has their first series it's called monstrous this is called the night eaters and it's full color obviously because it's comics but the thing with comics is i don't really like a lot of art styles but i really like this art style from this uh, woman so i decided to pick this up based off knowing that monstrous is just beautiful so this is like one of my first comics i've ever bought and then i was on book outlet when i bought that and i found it's called once in future this is the deluxe edition of the once in future and it's got the slip cover so this thing's like a hundred dollars i got it for 35 overall and it's just crazy good art um like look at this art super cool art this is about like king arthur they revive king arthur and that's pretty much all i know about it i've only read like one chapter but the art is what really sells me on comics because i don't generally like a lot of comic book art so i just stay away from it oh yeah look at that man super excited to read this this book alone is 60 us dollars or 78 canadian dollars it's bigger than the deluxe editions for like berserk and i get the slip cover with it so super sick that i got this for like half the price of just the normal volume all right it is time <laughs> to reorganize a little bit i might split this into two videos because people seem to enjoy watching me uh reorganize the collection a bit i kind of i want to sell hoshi nangi good just not great something about this i take so long to read one volume while like if i was reading bleach i can just blast through a volume so I have put this up for sale already, so I'm going to move that completely off of the shelf. just rewatched the video I just recorded and the mic was not working so I'll just run through it here I put fallen vampire there and moved Wolfsman over here black cat there with the HP Lovecrafts filled in nice and I put full metal here and I was putting too much emphasis on trying to not split things so I just said screw it split Moggy because it looks nice with the color split soul eater had a little bit of space so i have this 20th anniversary bleach never know where to put it that filled in that one spot gap then we put our kakaishi set that we just got there Torical split a little bit and ending with tista all right it's a few hours later um i'm actually just gonna flip full metal alchemist and soul eater opposite just to balance out the colors <laughs> i'm a little crazy when it comes to uh, reorganizing but that'll put a little bit of white on this side it's a little dark over here it should balance out real nice i'm gonna do that real quick all right i flip them and just that little change i think makes it look way better like subscribe thanks for watching uh, i think i'm gonna do a manga recommendation video next so keep tuned for that peace